Hi, Ari. Good afternoon. A source familiar with the investigation tells me that, look, it took a single shot to kill the would-be assassin Thomas Crooks, and that shot came from a Secret Service counter sniper that the source says it was he described the shot as a one in a million type of shot this the counter sniper could only see the top of the scope his eye and forehead because the lip of the agr building that crooks was on was obscuring that view we're also told a local police sniper took a single shot as well but missed remember this building was about 150 yards away from where pres uh, the former president was standing on that stage and it had a clear line of sight to the former president federal law enforcement sources tell fox that while while crooks snuck up on that roof a butler township emergency services unit sniper team was looking out of the windows of that same building watching for any suspicious activity. So how did Crooks get on that roof? Federal law enforcement sources tell Fox that it was initially thought he brought a ladder. However, no ladder was found on site and we're now told the more likely scenario is that Crooks hid his father's AR-15 near an AC unit and then he climbed onto that AC unit to get up onto the roof of the AGR building. This, as the Wall Street Journal is now reporting, the shooter was able to fly a drone above the rally site earlier that day. The predetermined flight path, the journal reports, indicates that he flew the drone more than once to scope out the site. A federal law enforcement source tells Fox the Secret Service was not flying a drone over the rally that day. Senator Josh Hawley says multiple whistleblowers with direct knowledge have come forward saying the rally was being treated as a loose security event.